This is Jeff Quinn, uh, CEO TM Lewin, and you're watching Forward 360. For young businesses starting out today, I think the important things for both um, building a company and a brand, I think the brand comes a little bit further down the line. So I kind of feel you shouldn't worry too much about brand. I think it's very easy to get caught up in the brand yeah. and forget that the business is the most important part. Because if, you don't, if you're not successful with your business, it doesn't matter about the brand. So focus on the business and depending on what you're doing, the most fundamental thing is just to be really good at it and be passionate about it. I think in the current recession, I think it's all too easy to think that it's all about doom and gloom, and it's really not. In fact, there was something on the news just recently about the number of startups for new businesses, which I think has reached a record high. And and again, I think young people can get into business, they can start their business up. Um, you've got to sometimes forget about the doom and gloom. It's all too easy to be driven by the press into thinking that everything's coming to an end. Um, and in fact, I think I stopped reading the newspapers about a year ago um, because I think you need to remain positive. And to be positive, you don't want to be continually battered down by um, sometimes the press saying, you know, this is bad, that is bad. There's challenges out there, but there's always going to be challenges. Even when you're running something that's really good, there'll still be challenges. So if you're starting up today, really it's about focusing on your business and try and forget about everybody else and whatever else is happening in the world because it might not be relevant at all to what you can do. When I joined TM Lewin back in 1980, which is 30 years ago, um, we were a very small business um, and we had a, an idea that we wanted to sell um, shirts at great quality and great shirts at, at great prices. It just grew very, very slowly. There's no fast way in, in doing things. It grew very slowly um, and right up to, I think it took us um, 10 years to open our second store. Um, and actually in the, in the life cycle of Lewins, that's actually 90 years to open the second store because it was established in 1898. Um, the idea I had was simply just to stay afloat, stay alive. which is always a difficult thing to talk about um, and, and sometimes difficult to think which, which one is the greatest one because I think actually you need to be prepared to make mistakes. It's, you know, life doesn't just go straight in a straight line, it, it, it wobbles and it curves. Uh, and uh, looking back, I would say one of our biggest challenges was actually back in around 1999 when we had a competitor that actually was doing things better than us. And we had to change our whole business model and we had to change our whole game. And that was when we started to introduce the 4 for 100, um, which is a multi-buy offer in the business. And had we not changed the business into that business, we probably wouldn't be here today. So the biggest challenge was actually somebody doing something better than us, and that's having to change the game. Um, but in changing it, actually, it opened up a whole new world for us. Uh, and when we, did, when we made that change, we had four stores, and today we've got 90. Um, and we're only talking in the last 11 years. I think everybody has very different ideas about sort of the definition of success. Um, I probably have quite high ideas about definition of success and I've set myself personal goals of success um, which are driven by building quite a big business. Um, I think success can, be, can start at very different levels and for some people success might be just coming off the dole or coming out of never actually really worked before and getting into a work placement and that can be phenomenal success for some people and other people it might be that um, they've made that first step and now they're just moving on to the second step. So success is all, is really success is down to the individual and the goals they set themselves and, and it really don't set too unrealistic goals. Much better to achieve the goals and then just move on and then just keep moving the goalposts. That's what I've done over the years is success for me started off to be quite small 
um, and, and it's medium now uh, and, and I see that we can grow bigger but it's done off the back of sort of reaching some smaller goals so don't, don't always set yourself these unbelievable things that you can't achieve much better to be successful and achieve things and then move on. I never imagined that we could have a business this size um, we employ nearly 100 people in our head office, um, we're up to uh, just under 900 people in the company um, so the business has grown far bigger than I ever dreamed it could grow but actually with that growth then brings more opportunity for further growth. So it's, it's again, it's that sort of stepping through process where you grow to a certain size, you suddenly see that there's something more that you can do, then you grow again and then you grow again. Uh, but yeah, this is much bigger than I thought it could be. Um, and actually now I think actually we're quite small in terms of where we could be. I've been very fortunate to get a really good team of people uh, in the company um, and the skill levels now in the company mean that we can grow more and probably grow faster. Um, but that's, that's something that sort of comes much later on in life when you, you're lucky that you, you can actually employ great people. Uh, but it's people that actually make the business totally, all the way along, all the, in all the years that I've worked, it's different people that have made us who we are. If you're really dedicated, if you really are focused on, on your business, and you've really got strong values in your business, um, then the buyers see that. And it's really important that buyers buy into what you're, um, what you're saying and what you're offering. Um, so it, it's about just being honest, um, faithful to what you've decided you're going to do. Don't just chop and change it because something sort of like weathers you this way or weathers you that way. Stay true to what your original idea was um, and, and really give that a great shot. If it doesn't work, then yes, it's not about sort of go on a blind road that just follows you all the way down. But listen, give, it, give it a chance first of all. Sometimes people stop too quickly if they think something's not working. And success doesn't come, on, come overnight. You have to work at it and you have to give yourself enough time to do it. I think you'll find there's an awful lot of businesses that start out. Actually, they start out with a business idea. They've got a nighttime job. They've got an early morning job. Uh, and they're funding their business idea out of these other jobs. And it's, it's hard work, but you've got to stick with it. And therefore, there's a good chance that your idea will break through and you, you'll be successful.